Hi everybody, I'm Tim from TroutandFeather.com and in this fly tying video, we're going to do an unboxing of the Stonfo Travel Tool Set. This looks really cool. Stay tuned, you're gonna like this one. Okay, it's time for a little unboxing of the Stonfo Travel Tool Set. So let's take a little peek inside this. And as I'm opening it up, to me, this is something that's great for if you're into traveling and bringing your set with you. And also if you're maybe in that new realm, uh, fly tying something that's maybe new, you're thinking about you know, getting some tools, this could be a great starter set of tools that kind of has a, an all-in-one type deal. So whenever I open it up, looks like it's gonna come first with a little bit of information. This is just an overview of everything that's going to be inside of it, just to give us a peek. It looks like we have scissors, a comb, and a really nice kind of Velcro um, brush, some hackle pliers, the roto dubbing mini tool, a bodkin, a bobbin, their Bob Tech bobbin. That's one of their favorites. I'll tell you about that in a, in a little bit. Their threader and a whip finishing tool. And what's also nice, if you look at this little handout they're giving us, they give directions on how to use all of these tools too. So it's nice just to kind of give us a little overview in case you're not quite sure how to use them. Uh, plastic case, looks like there's a clip on one side. Before I open it up, just do a quick measurement. Looks like we got about four and one quarter inches wide. Its length is about maybe six and one eighth. And its depth is just a smidge under an inch. Um, just a hair more than three quarters of an inch. So, you know, very nice size. We're talking about kind of like very similar to a large cell phone. All right, here we go. Let's open it up and take a peek at the tools inside. So there are eight tools and it looks like this is just a little Stonfo piece that just really just relates back to their company. So let's pull these out one at a time and I'll see what we have in here. The first one is a bobbin. This is the Stonfo Bob Tech Bobbin. Um, I really love this one. If you notice there's just a little black piece in the middle and that adjusts up and down. And as you pull it down, it places more tension on these two pieces, which will tighten up against the spool. I've done some reviews on Stonfo Bobbins over the years and I'll place one of those uh, as a link down below in the description of this video. But I can tell you this Stonfo Bob Tech Bobbin, uh, it's my go-to right now. I really love this one. It's got that ceramic insert. It has been just working really well for me. The fact that they included it in here is just a huge upgrade in my mind. So um, this alone, definitely, if you're not going to buy this set, look into this bobbin. It's the one that I've been using more and more over the last couple of years. Next, we have this called there. It's like a roto dubbing mini. So this is basically a dubbing tool. It's, it's used for creating dubbing loops. You thread your, your thread through these two clips. You place some dubbing material in between them, and then it spins on a ball bearing. Uh, very nice tool, very useful, especially for, for creating very buggy body, bodies. They also have an elite roto dubbing tool that turns and it's on kind of a hinge point, which I really love and I've used that in some of my videos. I have not used this mini yet. Uh, I like that it just fits inside here. You know, very easy to transport. We'll see how this one works. The next one, so this is a threader. If you look really closely at the edge, there's just a very fine piece of wire that gets looped around. And how that works, you stick it down the nozzle of a bobbin. I won't necessarily demonstrate, but you would stick it inside. You would attach your thread into that little clip and then pull it back through and you would have your bobbin all ready to go based on this little threader. Very neat looking tool and uh, it's very useful, especially when you're just getting into fly tying. One thing I also want to point out about this, just kind of feeling it right now, it's a metal tool, maybe aluminum, it's very lightweight, but it's got this rubberized grip on it. And it's nice, and your fingers are kind of just drawn right to that spot. So really nice design there. Next, uh, this is probably another one of my top five Stonfo tools. Uh, this is kind of called their, let me see their exact name. It's called their Patine Comb, spelled P-E-T-T-I-N-E. -E. So it's got a comb on the edge, and I use this for like deer hair, elk hair, anytime um, after I trim them and I want to brush out some of the fibers, I use that. But then on the other side, it's basically just a piece of Velcro. 
And this is great for just applying some pressure and just brushing out your bodies to make them a lot buggier. I uh, really love this tool. I have three or four of these already. Um, I lose them all the time because I just place them just in random spots. This is just a, a great addition to this set. Next, we have a whip finishing tool. I Probably my most popular YouTube video of all time is on how to finish the fly. And I demonstrate how to use this tool. So if, if you are new to fly tying, I'll put a link down below to that video. It's my number one. It's got over 100,000 views. I'm really excited by it. I have not used this whip finisher yet. It's got a little tension there. Same, that kind of aluminum body, that rubberized grip looks really nice. And I'm looking forward to trying this one out. I don't use these a ton. I tend to use the, the hand whip finish, but there are many instances where this will work out, um, especially whenever you have a lot of stuff going on and, and it's tough to get both of your hands in there. All right, looks like we have a few more tools in here. Next is a small set of half pliers. To use this set, you basically pinch down and it will open those little jaws in a sense. On one of the jaws, it looks like there's kind of a piece of rubber there most looks like black electrical tape. And what that does, it, it helps to just push whatever the material is, the hackle against that other metal jaw. And it locks down, it locks very tight. And then there's this hole here so you can place your finger in it to kind of spin it around the hook. So a nice little tool there. Always can use hackle pliers and you don't have to use those just on hackle. I use them a lot on other materials, especially small wires. Next, we have a pair of scissors. Initial impressions on the scissors. I like that the loops are large enough to stick my fingers within. They're, they make a nice clicking noise when you shut them. Um, they're not loose, they're not floppy, I like that. As I'm looking at them, they're not extremely fine. And I guess uh, Stonfo probably had a decision to make because if you make them too fine, then you're kind of missing out on people tying those larger pike, streamer flies, saltwater stuff. And if you make them too heavy duty, you're probably not going to you know, satisfy the trout crowd. So they kind of went right in the middle. I can tell you by looking at these, I am definitely going to leave these in this set, but I'll probably you know, bring along a set of really fine jaws as well, that really fine blade, I should say, because whenever I'm tying those delicate trout flies, I really like to get into those tight spots. I can tell you this is going to be a great all-around pair. I wouldn't be afraid to, to use these to cut hairs, wires, and that sort of stuff. And then finally, we have a bodkin. I absolutely just love bodkins. I have a number of these that I, I use in all my little fly tying spaces. That same setup where it looks like metal aluminum style body, rubberized grip, and a little protector over the needle. Yes, it is definitely sharp. I uh, love these to kind of get into those tight spots to put maybe various adhesives onto the fly whenever I'm finishing it, but just a really great tool. Fits in nicely. It's nice to see that they have all these really just, they're spaced out, they're organized in a great manner, and it locks tight. Um, so this is a cool little Stonfo travel kit. Has their logo on front, the Italy symbol, or at least uh, Italy in those colors looks like green, white, and red. My father's side of the family is from Italy, so I definitely love to see that. Well, let's change the camera angle a little bit, and I'll tell you a little bit more about how I'll use this and kind of how it fits into something that you've never seen on camera before, and that's my travel kit. So I wanted to give you just a sneak peek at this Stonfo travel tool set. For my first impressions, I really like it. You're receiving just eight just quality fly tying tools that you will use at your fly tying area. Probably the most critical piece for me is this little plastic case, kind of semi-resistant. It's lightweight. It's about the size of a large cell phone. Um, this just is perfect whenever we're thinking about traveling or if you just like to stay organized. Retail price is around $100. I just did a quick Google search. You can find it at various online fly shops in the United States. I know Stonfo sells their stuff worldwide. Um, I be, believe eBay is always another good place to find some of their stuff. Now I talked a little bit about being organized. I try to be as organized as possible with my fly tying. And probably the one area where I'm not is when it comes to traveling. So I wanna share with you my fly tying travel bag. And over the years, lots of people have commented on my videos. They've wanted to see kind of my stuff whenever I'm traveling. So this is the bag that I've used. It's just kind of a, a medium sized Cabela's duffel bag. And in it, I kind of have a, an organizational system where I keep all hooks and beads on this side. Just random stuff that's really specific for something over there. Kind of business cards, pens, paper on top, all the fly tying 
just materials inside, and all of my fly time tools in this front pouch. Except there is no organizational method for this pouch. I probably shouldn't even just reach in there without looking in first because there's just tons of stuff. We're talking about scissors, UV flashlights, bobbins. There's a Stonfo ooh, dubbing tool, but it's attached to some thread right now because my organization of this front pocket is just terrible. Hence, whenever I, I realized that Stonfo had a travel tool set coming out, I thought this is going to be perfect in that bag because that bag goes with me to fly tying events. It's anytime I'm fly fishing in central Pennsylvania, it's with me in case I have to tie some quick flies there. I brought it to Wyoming, to Iceland. It basically goes everywhere with me. And now to know this will be in there at all times, it will be just ready to go. It's gonna make it so convenient and more importantly, so organized. Hence the reason I wanted to share all of this with you today. That was the unboxing of the Stonfo Travel Tool Set. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below in the comment section or you can email me at tkamisa at gmail.com. If you'd like to watch more fly tying and fly fishing videos, you can check out my website, which is troutandfeather.com. You can also find Trout and Feather on Instagram, on Facebook, all of those fun social media channels. On my website, you can also find a bio about me and you can contact me through there as well. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you are interested in this travel tool set and you get one, please talk about it down below in the comments section to kind of share your experience with others. Thanks everybody.